most women start a business? Is it passion, money, or freedom? Welcome to Female Founders, the podcast that takes you behind the scene with women who are founders and CEOs to help you start and scale a successful business of your own. I am your host, Nagelia de Ravine. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Female Founders. In this episode, we are going to have a conversation with the founder of Cormox, Daniel Goss. Cormox is a non-alcohol beverage for people that like to socialize without the alcohol. So that is awesome. I know what you are thinking. Where can I get this drink? Hold that touch for a second. Let's get to the conversation. Danielle, the work you are doing is amazing. So I am super impressed and I cannot wait to learn more about uh, Cool Mox. And one thing I realized that for the past a few years, everything you have been doing focuses on wellness. How did you get into wellness and what's your backstory? <clears throat> yeah, well, good morning. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, I, I guess it all started um, in terms of like the, the wellness infusion um, my background is very much connected to wellness. Um, I am a registered dietitian by trade. Um, and, you know, I was an RD out in the workforce for, you know, a number of years trying to navigate just a number of different, you know, areas of health and well being. And just wanted to do work that made an impact on people's lives and help them, you know, live their best lives through, so, you know, initially my focus was on nutrition. Um, as I got more into that industry, I, you know, wellness is such a holistic, like, um, overarching goal that, you know, a lot of people are working towards and it's so much more than nutrition. So, um, you know, as I navigated my different steps along my career path so far, I always had an entrepreneurial spirit. I just didn't know what that meant yet. So I, you know, was in corporate wellness uh, I was in nutrition coaching. I did a number of things. I jumped into um, starting my own um, corporate wellness consulting business, Driven Wellness, which I, um, you know, did for a number of years and uh, helped build and develop employee wellness programs. And, you know, when we found out we were expecting our first child, um, always been a couple who enjoyed a beverage or two with family and friends. And, you know, I was bummed. I wanted something that was fun and social that I could enjoy in those set in those settings, but also something that I could feel comfortable with. I could feel safe consuming, but also something that gave me that feeling that I just couldn't get from having a can of uh, soda or a bottle of water in hand at those occasions. I really wanted that adult experience and, um, you know, a ton of market research later and jumping in at seven months pregnant. <laughs> Here we are two years, almost two years uh, later after launching in the market. Um, and that's kind of, you know, where Coolmox got started. You know, we're a craft mocktail business. It's, n it's not a wellness company by any means, but we certainly infuse health and wellness into, you know, um, the overall brand and you know we know that wellness is important to our consumers yes yeah, like, so pretty much when i was uh, learning more about it i felt like there was a connection and wellness with it that's the reason why you make that decision to go with it because when you have when you keep drinking a lot of alcohols it's not good for your body especially if you're pregnant so i felt like that probably one of the reasons that's kind of make you go that route to create that type of brand and also um from what i'm understanding from you is uh being pregnant that was one of the reasons as well to be able to continue having a life but also caring for your kids yeah you know it it really is multi-faceted because there's the expectant mother piece um and you know the idea of you know, having something that I could enjoy. I spent months crafting my own mocktails from scratch because I couldn't find something that I wanted um, at, you know, stores, bars, restaurants at the time. And um, what ultimately allowed us to, you know, cross that line of jumping in and starting building the Cool Max brand was the, you know, aggressive market research we did at the time, which was, you know, us learning that beyond pregnant and expectant women that 
so many more people were looking for ways to moderate and be more mindful about their alcohol consumption, you know, as a dietitian by trade, just, you know, what you put in your body is what you ultimately become, right? And um, whether we want to talk about it or not, alcohol is not something that does uh, beneficial things to your body, right? Um, and, you know, we're, we're not really a brand that's here to talk about um, the negative sides of that. I think there are amazing organizations that are out there to do that. We are more um, taking the position of, hey, when you're looking for ways to cut back, you know, entertain drinking less, if you're someone who can't drink or chooses not to drink, we can allow you to stay a part of the occasion, keep the party going, have a great time, even when, um, you know, you don't want the effects of alcohol and, you know, going that extra step to be 0.00 ABV. Um, that really was an additional thing that we wanted to do because of, you know, pregnant, expecting nursing women, um, as well as, you know, there are people out there with alcohol allergies and, and things of that nature. You know, um, now the stat that we see in the U.S. is that 80 percent of consumers who drink alcoholic beverages are looking for ways to cut back. And the number one thing that they are all saying is they want to keep drinking and they're disappointed with the lack of options. So here we are, you know, we're, we're, um, you know, working on growing and trying super hard to work with retailers, distributors beyond to, you know, bring that to life, you know, with our brand. And of course the category continues to grow with, some, you know, great NA beers, wine, spirits, um, and beyond. So um, the category is really just getting started across the, you know, United States here. I totally, I totally can relate to that because I know when I got pregnant, I stopped drinking 100% until today. I haven't had even one zip of alcohol in my body. So it's kind of like, I don't know what will happen if I drink and I have a kid. So let's trash that out of my life. So having something that you can still have friends come over and enjoy something, I think it's important. We all need a break sometime. Even as mothers, we still need time for ourselves so that we can recharge. So, Absolutely. I, so I, what you are doing is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. So launching a business during the COVID-19 pandemic, was it difficult? Um, <laughs> I... I think, you know, there were challenges, right? Um, and whether you had a business or not, of course there were challenges. For us, I mean, we started building the brand in the fall of 2019 before the pandemic hit. Um, when I was seven months pregnant, we, um, you know, had our first baby girl in December of 2019. And then, you know, when she was about three months old, um, you know, when I was in the heart of building pitch decks, you know, fundraising, doing all the things to get ready for our first production run is when the pandemic hit. Um, you know, for us, everything we had learned about beverage, you know, not coming from the beverage industry was here are the X, Y, Z things you do when you launch, right? We took a certain kind of distribution strategy and we were working on, you know, what that would look like for the months to come. And, whether positive or negative, I, I'm a very optimistic, optimistic person. And, you know, we just really took the strategy of, hey, um, this is the environment we're in now. Of course, you know, there will be supply chain challenges, challenges. I mean, we literally for our first production run, we're planning to stay in a camper outside of the production <laughs> facility because we were like, we have to make this happen, you know. It's all, if you want to call it a word or not, it's all figure outable. And uh, so, yes, there there have been challenges, but it's, it's you know, really comes down to having thick skin, um, you know, with having a newborn in the mix and, um, you know, eventually getting product to launch, which was, you know, in, we eventually brought it to market, Cool Mox, all three of our current flavors in July of 2020. Um, with our production that happened in June. So 
uh, we we had to adjust. We we started, you know, trying to promote the brand and create awareness using sh- social media platforms. The press was very kind to us because our story is relatable and we can make a huge impact and a positive impact in our communities across the country. So that's been fantastic. And we really leaned into that as we, you know, started the brand and we continue to do so today. And um, whether working with our distributors, retailers, you name it, I mean, we were just flexible, right? So if they weren't comfortable meeting in person, and quite frankly, with the newborn, I wasn't always comfortable yet, right? Because we were learning so much, like there's, you know, you're scared, (laughs) but you got to get business done. So I mean, um, we just, you know, tried to be authentic, right? We're all in it together. And um, it was a wild first year. And I mean, just today, two years later, right, we're, we're still very much uh, experiencing a lot of different challenges related to, you know, how business and supply chain and, and uh, inflation is impacting CPG brands and beyond. But um, it's all figure outable. And, um, you know, we just, like I said, try to stay super optimistic. Um, you know, I have my husband who is also, you know, a co-founder of the business. He helps when he's able to, but he has a, a different job. And um, it's nice to have that support system for sure under my own roof. Absolutely. It's always good to have the help because at the end of the day, we can't do it alone, ain't we? Like, especially being a mom or two. It's a lot of work. For sure. Did you do any at home R&D experiments before you launched uh, Coolmox? Yeah. So, um, let's say, well, when I got pregnant, you know, started to look for options. Um, and then ultimately I did a ton of, uh, crafting my own mocktails from scratch in our kitchen or whether I was up North with family, um, at our cabin, things like that. I mean, concocting whatever I could find to just have something that was fun and social, but you know, like many people, you're busy, you don't have a ton of free time. I wanted something that was ready to drink, which was my pain point, right? I wanted it to be easy. My husband loves craft beers. I wanted him to be able to run to the grocery store or the liquor store, grab his IPAs, and then bring something home for me um, that didn't require, you know, different ingredients, whatever, you name it. Um, So, Yeah, we definitely, I did some concocting on my own for a number of months. And then when we decided to start building the brand, we um, started working with food scientists, flavorists, et cetera, some amazing, talented people to really take, you know, our ideas, the, the nutrition facts in mind that we had, as well as the flavor profiles and work with these experts to you know, take our ideas and turn that into, you know, a scalable uh, quantity beverage production type craft mocktail brand, because, you know, there's one thing to create beverages in the comfort of your own home. But then when you're talking about producing thousands of gallons of something, that's a whole nother um, level of uh, complexity. So, um, yes, a lot of steps along the way to create our beverages. A lot of fun. <laughs> That's how I see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would say the R&D part, um, building, you know, what the brand's going to look like. Of course, a lot of that is is fun. You know, some pain points along the way when you have to overcome whatever gets thrown at you. But in general, all of the all the development and, and whatnot is, is really fun. And, you know, you get focus groups involved. You know, it, it shouldn't be one person making the decision on giving any flavor a green light because at the end of the day, I mean, yes, I want to love what we create, but, you know, it's created for the masses too. So that's been really helpful um, and important to have, you know, a ton of other people trying our drinks as we've created new flavors. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, so um, what is the differences between core marks and traditional mocktails out there? What's, what's the difference between them? Yeah. 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 So to answer that, a couple ways to look at it. One, traditional mocktail recipes, or if you go to a bar, um, for example, more and more now, at, at least like higher end restaurants, you're seeing 
some craft mocktail recipe uh, drink lists and whatnot, which is amazing. I hope we continue to see more of that because at the end of the day, it, pro- it promotes inclusivity. It allows people to be a part of the occasion. But the reality is it's, it's going to take a long time for that to expand. And, and our drinks are ready to drink, right? They're meant to, you know, you can hold the can in your hand, feel a part of the occasion um, and all that good stuff. So, Getting back to your question, there are a few things that really differentiate us. Um, The traditional mocktail is loaded with sugar. I mean, if you think about um, recipes you've seen um, or if you go to a bar or restaurant, typically you're going to see 50 to 60 grams of sugar um, compared compared to, you know, the 12 fluid ounces that you're going to get in a Cool Mox craft mocktail. Um, other things to consider calorie count, all of our drinks are 50 calories or less. We don't have anything artificial. There's 0.00 ABV. So, um, you can feel comfortable and good about that. They're gluten-free and they're also caffeine-free. So, you know, we wanted to make sure our drinks still stayed full flavor, just like you would expect from a cocktail, um, or traditional mocktail, but, we didn't want the calories or, you know, an insane amount of sugar. So we pulled the real cane sugar back as much as we could without sacrificing that great mouthfeel, right, that you would get from a cocktail. And then we blended that in with natural sweeteners, monk fruit, and stevia to achieve that, you know, full flavor experience just without, um, you know, sacrificing your waistline or, you know, if you're watching your calorie content or you don't want a ton of sugar, like we tried a ton of different iterations to try to get, you know, our numbers down as low as we could. Uh, But this is where the tipping point is, right? We're not a wellness beverage. We're a craft mocktail created with health and wellness in mind. So um, all those things were really important to us. And I feel like we took all the steps to really make sure we could um, keep them great tasting, but also know that you could literally pick up a four pack, hang out, you know, for the whole day, whether you're going to like switch between a cocktail and a craft mocktail or just, um, have mocktails because you don't want alcohol that day. You could do that throughout, you know, an entire daytime gathering and have that be 200 calories or less, which is amazing. That you can't beat anywhere else. And you're right, because a lot of us, too, we don't pay attention when we go to the supermarket or we go anywhere to get a drink. We don't pay attention to all of those numbers that's in the back of it. Usually, they're so long. It's like, if you start reading, you'll give up <laughs> so fast. So it's, it's, it's good to have something that you can put in your body that's not destroying it, you know, with the, because especially me, I usually I try to watch my calories, how many calories I have in a day. So when you're having a drink that's only covered most of your calories for that day, it's like, wait a minute, what am I going to eat today then? <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, there's, there's the non-alcoholic side of it. Um, and then there, if you had a traditional cocktail, of course, alcohol in general is a higher calorie liquid. Um, so it's just, you know, the idea of either being able to cut back and infuse something like a cool max into your just every day or, uh, every occasion kind of thing, like whether you're going to a party, a tailgate, a beach event, you name it, like, there's always someone that's either looking to cut back or someone who's not drinking. So we provide a really good staple beverage that, um, you know, regardless of the flavors you like and whatnot, there are some great options if you're, you know, looking to, you know, just get creative. And, and, you know, a lot of people for what that means to them is like, Hey, they're, they're moving, you know, they're, they're exercising, they're eating the right things, they're putting the right foods in their body. And, and now they're just taking a look at their alcohol consumption. And, and most aren't going sober and not drinking. Some of them are, um, which is, is important to note. But, um, you know, a lot of them are just looking for ways to cut back and, and we can really help with that. What is the flavors you have right now? What are the flavors? Yeah, so currently we have the Mock Mule, which I have right here, um, which is infused with a vodka type uh, flavor infusion. And then it has fresh ginger, lime, um, really fresh. It's meant to give you that Moscow Mule experience just without the booze. Um, While I'm talking, I should just bring down the other cans here. 
Um, we have a strawberry margarita, which has an agave tequila flavor infusion, um, fresh lime, strawberry, um, 50 calories, really fun. You know, with any of these beverages, they're meant to be ready to drink. You know, you just make sure they're ice cold from your refrigerator or your cooler and you can crack it open. Has great drinkability out of the can, but, you know, if you're trying to fancy it up and have a little fun at home, you can crack out the Moscow mule mug or copper mug, um, margarita glass. And then our third flavor we currently have is the blackberry mojito, which has a rum flavor infusion, fresh blackberry, um, a touch of lime, and then, of course, garden fresh mint, which you would expect out of a refreshing mojito. And then, um, excitingly, we are launching three new flavors this summer, um, which I'm I'm very, very pumped to share with everyone. Um, we're getting really close. Um, actually, two weeks away now from our production run of our new flavors. Hello, this is Danielle Goss co-founder and CEO of Cool Mox Craft Mocktails. This video is meant to talk to you about our six delicious craft mocktails so you know exactly what to expect out of these um, refreshing drinks and uh, understand the flavor profiles, what to expect. So let's jump right in. The Blackberry Mojito, meant to give you that mojito experience. So you're going to get notes of lime, fresh garden mint, and blackberry. This unique beverage also has a rum flavor infusion. The Mock Mule was created to give you that classic Moscow Mule experience, just without all the extra calories um, and the sugar that you would find in a traditional meal. And of course, they are 0.00 ABV, so you don't have to worry about the hangover. This delicious beverage has fresh lime, um, ginger, and a vodka type infusion. The strawberry margarita has an agave tequila flavor infusion, um, fresh uh, lime, strawberry, only 50 calories, super refreshing, and meant to give you that strawberry margarita experience. Jumping into our newest beverages we're just launching now. Um, today I'm filming this video in May of 2022. We have our new lineup that is featured in our Adventure Variety Pack collection. First off was our number one requested beverage by our customers, which is the Classic Margarita. Um, but we call it our Classic Margarita, of course. Um, so this one comes in at 50 calories. Really refreshing, of course, all of our drinks are meant to be refreshing, drinkable, you can have a few without the guilt. Um, comes with an agave tequila flavor infusion, once again, just like the strawberry, and um, notes of not only fresh lime, but also a little bit of lemon, so a nice citrus note um, that can be found in this, in this margarita. Next, we have our peach hibiscus cider. This cider um, is unique to our lineup, a little bit different, um, but super um, full flavor. Offers hints of honey crisp apple, peach, and just a touch of floral hibiscus. So it really gives that, um, um, what am I trying to say? That artisanal drinking experience. Definitely one to try. And then lastly, but not least, a uh, light beverage. This one is our lowest calorie drink we have out on the market yet. It is our mock G&T. Um, it has botanical notes, fresh juniper, um, dried juniper berry notes, um, and an infusion of gin um, to give that classic G&T experience just in a lighter form and of course without the booze. So um, hopefully this gave you a nice description of our craft mocktails. As I said earlier, all of them are formulated to be 0.00 ABV um, and infused with spirit notes to keep the party going. Um, our drinks have some of the lowest sugar um, out on the market compared to anything that would um, be out on store shelves or online, and we're really proud of that. Additionally, we don't include anything artificial. We use super high quality ingredients, um, and our drinks are made to help you feel a part of that social drinking experience. 
Um, so whether you're a part of 80% of American adults who enjoy alcohol but are looking for ways to moderate or cut back, um, pregnant and nursing mothers, of course, who can't indulge in alcoholic beverages, as well as people who can't or choose not to drink. Um, just you listening to this video right now, I'm sure you can think of times where sometimes it just makes sense to pass on booze, but you wanna continue to be a part of the occasion and we really help to fill that void. So check out Cool Mox, let us know if you have questions, have a great day and uh, enjoy the Cool Mox experience. Wow, that's awesome. So what are the flavors, what, what will they be? We currently have, <clears throat> again, I'm just like reaching for these options in my office here, but um, all of these three are sold in four packs currently. And then in December, January of, you know, at end of 2021, beginning of 2022, we launched the party box is what we call it. So it's a nice variety pack that people can pick up. There are six cans, two of each really helpful with engaging trial and letting people just try it out, right? Try out the Cool Mox experience. So the new three flavors we're launching will be in another variety pack. Um, and we're calling it the Adventure Collection. Um, so, you know, we did a big customer survey of all of our subscribers on our website and um, a few other places and asked, you know, what do you want to see from us? What what kind of flavors would you like to see next? And I will say that we 100% created the number one requested beverage from that survey. So that's really fun. Like when people listen or when people speak and ask for things, like that's what it's all about. So um, we created that drink. Um, the other two drinks are, um, you know, botanical inspired. They have, you know, again, spirit note infusions. They're still 50 calories or less, potentially even uh, lower than what we currently have. And, you know, really offer a nice curveball and uh, another just three delicious beverages to add to our lineup going into the summer selling season. So excited to, you know, share that really soon with everyone. And then, um, you know, start getting people to try them and, and see what everybody thinks about the new mocktails. Absolutely. And it seems like it's going to be excited. Like, I know you don't want to share the secret. I want to know the secret. And I know you're trying to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have, to, I'll have to hook you up with some, uh, like all six of our craft mocktails when they're done, and then you can try them yourself. <laughs> that sounds good. I can't wait. But also, where where can they get them? So if I want to buy, um, uh, your cold, I'm sorry, cold, cold marks, where can I get it? Where can I go to to buy it online and stores? Yeah. Um. So when we launched in July of 2020. We started working with distributors out of Minnesota and Wisconsin, uh, beer distributors to deliver to grocery stores, bars, and restaurants. And then we also started selling online. Um, fast forward today. So, you know, we're coming up on our two years being in market this July. Um, so just under two years in, we have options online to buy direct to consumer, which is at coolmox.com, as well as on Amazon, where you can purchase. And then um, we started distributing to stores, bars, and restaurants, like I said, in the Midwest. And now you can find our drinks in you know stores, bars, and restaurants across 16 states, and we're set to be sold in over half the country by the end of this year. So we are really rapidly growing. We have big goals for the brand. We want to make sure that we can truly, you know, help everyone feel a part of that social drinking experience. And a big piece of that is availability. And, um, you know, it is a new category. So there are some, you know, obstacles in terms of just education and making sure that, we can make space um, and educate and you know, everything from buyers to distributors on on you know how do we bring that into the you know amazing beverage sets that they already carry. Um, but we're having all those conversations, and and some of it does truly just take time. And um, there are a lot of you know amazing other NA 
beverages out there now. Like I said, the beer, NA spirits, wines, um, those are all popping up as well. So I think you're, you're hands down going to just continue to see this uh, category grow over the next number of years. And, and we're really a pioneer in that space when it comes to uh, RTD um, in the United States. Okay. Can they also get it from uh, Coolmox website? Yes. So coolmox.com. Um, we have kind of larger quantities. We don't sell four packs on coolmox.com, but 12 and 24 packs are available there. And then, like I said earlier, on Amazon, there's a lot of flexibility with buying online. Um, you know, you do pay a little bit more of a premium to buy online, but there's the convenience factor. So you weigh your options. We're actively working on a store locator for our website. Um, my goal um, for the for the business is, you know, keep those great direct consumer options there for when people want them quick, fast, and they don't want to go to the store. Um, but to get, you know, them on store shelves where you shop every day, right? Whether it's the liquor store or the grocery store, we want to be there as an option. Um, and, and you know, we're, we're making progress on that. It just does truly take time. So soon we will have a store locator where you'll be able to pop in like your zip code and there will be the stores that pop up. And that'll be really helpful in just trying to identify where you can shop for Cool Mox. Exactly. Do you have any uh, plan to create an app that will make it a lot easier for people? Um, ooh, that's a good question. I think that would be something we'd consider as we grow, um, get more funding. And, um, you know, right now we're just really focused on, you know, making sure we have a solid website that educates and like gives the consumer the information they need. Um, so I would say the store between the store locator um, and just, you know, us continuing to work on funding as we grow the business. Those two things are are going to be key for us. So you are a goal sponsor of the Sober Mom Squad. And uh, what is your role uh, with them? What are they about? Yeah. Um, so at Coolmax, we have a piece of what we do dedicated towards our Coolmax Cares program, which for us, you know, we're a newer emerging brand, but I strongly believe that you shouldn't wait to become where you want to be before you start doing good, essentially, is what that means. And um, we... Our contract with Cool, the excuse me, the Sober Mom Squad was, uh, I think it was a half a year, six or nine months. I, I can't remember exactly what it was, um, but it was a, a term that we had with them as a sponsor. Um, you know, honestly, we had so many people throwing us sponsorship opportunities when we first started and during the pandemic, when everything was shut down, I learned about Sober Mom Squad. I, I had the opportunity to meet um, virtually with basically all of the um, amazing moms that were a part of that. You know, essentially, it's an organization that helps women and whether, you know, they're moms who are uh, trying to navigate recovery or they're just, you know, uh, toying around with the idea of being sober curious, right? Um, basically, our sponsorship would, was something that allowed participants and members to get free memberships to be able to participate in their program and be able to, you know, really help guide them through, um, you know, whatever brought them to Sober Mom Squad. So just after learning about what they were trying to accomplish and everything that was going on during the onset of the pandemic. Like this was something that came to fruition during 2020. Um, although we're not an active sponsor anymore, I don't even know if they're doing beverage sponsors, to be honest, anymore. I think it was a great way for them to initially get some funding. But, um, you know, it was a no brainer for us. Um, they they do some amazing things. And um so yeah, I guess the biggest the biggest piece for it was of course um, just helping um, more people get access to what they were doing, and then of course 
you know, we hooked up all a lot of the moms with some craft mocktails, try out cool mocks. And, um, you know, they they did some cool stuff with us to cross promote as well. That's awesome. You know, to starting starting something new and then say that, hey, I'm going to sponsor this. It's it takes a lot, you know, because because yeah. some things. It, to be honest, as a brand new business in 2020, our like full disclosure, our our money to sponsor, like arguably, like maybe shouldn't even have been doing a sponsorship yet. But I have a big heart, um, and just learning about what they're trying to accomplish. It just you know when things feel right, you run with it. Like I said, it's not something we're actively doing anymore. I don't know if they're doing beverage sponsor sponsorships. Um, but I do very much still, you know, follow them online and um, I'm very supportive of what they're doing. Danielle, all I can say that was nice of you because it's a new business. It's hard to go out and say I'm going to sponsor on other businesses. So you also, uh, Colmax also is a partner and sponsor of the Proof Islands. What is all that about? Yeah, that is a new partnership we have, um, very aligned with... I guess the, you know, the inspiration behind our story, which was me as a pregnant mom wanting something <laughs> to feel a part of the occasion. Proof Alliance is an organization that um, helps educate um, and promote prevention of fetal alcohol um, disorders, um, which is essentially preventing, um, one, preventing mothers from drinking while pregnant for one, right? Um, and then two is they also help families um, who have children or, you know, individuals living in a, their adult life, you know, whatever it may be. I'm not a spokesperson for them, so I can't, you know, say all the ins and outs. Um, but what I can say is they help on, you know, both sides to really try to make a difference in prevention and also helping families, providing resources, you name it. Um, and, so, for example, right now we're literally in the middle of a uh, collaboration. This month is Alcohol Awareness Month. Um, we're, we're promoting, you know, alcohol-free pregnancies. And, um, you know, shockingly or not shockingly, like, take it as it is, but alcohol-related um, consumption during uh, pregnancy is the number one cause of birth de defects in the U.S., which is is, oh, wow. as I'm sure you could uh, relate with this, like completely avoidable, right? This is preventable. It, it is something that we can make a difference to change. And and they've been working on that for, for decades, right? <laughs> At Cool Mox, where we come in is like, they reached out to us, considered us as being like, a brand to really partner with and, and, you know, try to do some cool things with, especially with our 0 0.00 ABV and just our story. Um, and it made a lot of sense. So we, you know, we're really just working with them at this time, you know, we're going to have an ongoing partnership and probably do some event collaborations and things like that. Um, but really I, I think that with their efforts as an organization, they're growing, um, they started in Minnesota, but now they have like national outreach. Um, and I think the collaboration between their efforts and making sure that women in these scenarios know that there are options. Um, I think, you know, we can help move the needle. Um, and that's really what it's all about. A lot of great people working on, you know, doing good. And, and we just felt like it was the right partnership. Absolutely. And I feel like it's also as mothers, it's uh, become close as well to something that we know how it is um, being a mom. So we should protect For the sure. children. <laughs> so um, now that you launch Uncle Max, things are moving forward very well. And uh, you have new products coming out, which I'm excited. I can't wait to know what it is. I know it's a secret. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> so, but where do you go? Where do you go from uh, from here? What's what's next? Hmm. Great question. Well, um, literally, what is next will be our big production of our new flavors. So that's one. Um, but we have a lot of a lot of great things in the works. Like I said, I mean, availability is number one for us. So we're really trying to prioritize 
meeting with the right people, having the right conversations, helping educate from boots on the ground to having the, you know, regional mass retail conversations with buyers and distributors to talk about, you know, this hasn't been an option in the past. So how do we bring that to reality, making space for, you know, ready to drink, um, whether it's, you know, the growing NA beer category, NA spirits, wine, you name it. Um, as an RTD, we are really, you know, a, a great company to sponsor with, um, not sponsor with, but collaborate with um, to truly make a difference, right? And, and you know, there's going to be more and more over time, this category is going to grow just more alcohol-free options. Some of them have the same goals as us and others not. Like our mission is to help everyone feel part of the social drinking experience. Um, and, you know, we, uh, we really think there's a lot of opportunity here and, and we're, we're taking the right steps. It just, some of it does truly take time. Um, and so I'm <laughs> beating around the bush a little bit, but we have big goals. We want to be the North American brand leader in RTD craft mocktails by the end of 2023. So that's, that's where our head's at. And, you know, everything that falls in between that time frame is us foot on the gas pedal, no brakes, like we are all in. And, um, you know, everyone who's been supportive of what we're trying to do, um, whether involved or just, you know, watching, we're so appreciative of that. And um, it's it's been an exciting ride and we're just getting started. I think that with your determination and your spirit, I think that's possible because if you can actually launch a business with a, a child and a new one coming out, so it's a lot of work. So it's not easy. Most people, when they get pregnant, they can't even go to work because they have to quit their job. For you to be able to do all that, I think that you become the number one in 2023 is possible. Well, thank you. Thank you. I, um, yeah, I mean, being, a um, uh, an entrepreneur with, uh, you know, being pregnant two times, having two girls, you, there are sacrifices you have to make. Um, and it's different, right? Um, but our goal as a family, our, our goals are very strong. We have, you know, visions for what we're trying to build. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's all going to be worth it in the end with, you know, for us, we're doing the best we can. And at the end of the day, um, you know, that's, that's what it's all about chasing your dreams, working hard and, um, trying to build a beautiful, amazing life for your family. So that's, that's what we're after. And it's, it's been an exciting ride so far and we're, we're just getting started. And not only that, also you are you are helping uh, you are helping the world at the same time because you are creating something that can that's good for our for our health, but also keep keep us safe as well. Because when you drink and you're driving, all these things can happen. You're pregnant, you're drinking. You know, it's a lot going on in this world. So what you are doing also, it's helping a lot of people. And uh, the more the message is going out there, the more people it's reaching, the bigger impact you are making in this world as well. So for me, all I can say as a mother, thank you for creating that because I wish that was exist when I was pregnant. <laughs> you, can, I can't tell you how many people have told me that for one, but that's exactly why we did it, right? Dang it. Like I, when we started this, I, I had said, okay, it's 2020. There, there's something for everyone out there. How is there not anything out there like this? Which was, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's taken a little time, um, but here we are. And now there is, you know, something for for those occasions. And I think with, you know, increased availability of products like ours, the growing, you know, category overall of alcohol-free drinks, adult alcohol-free drinks, will be able to, you know, really help people on their journey of just navigating, you know, drinking less or cutting back or being more mindful of their alcohol consumption. 
Absolutely. So what is your message to young entrepreneurs that are just starting out? Mm, I mean, I would say knowing your why, what is going to drive you every single day when you don't have motivation, what's going to keep you going? I think that is always going to be your why. Because at the end of the day, you have to keep doing the work when it's hard, even, you know, it's especially for, for the beverage industry, but I would assume any entrepreneurial journey is like a roller coaster. You have very high highs and you have days that are low, but you have to get up and keep working when there are challenging days. And that's really what helps you keep moving forward um, and the consistency will pay off. So I would say just knowing your why. Um, and then if, if it's big enough, you'll figure it out. Absolutely. The wine is the, always the most important thing, and <laughs> always the number one thing in all of it. So I thank you so much, Danielle, for being here with us and I appreciate the work that you are doing. So please, I know it's difficult as women in business, but don't give up. Keep on going because we need this. We need it. Yeah, well, thank you so much for having me. It was great meeting you and appreciate the opportunity to, you know, share a little bit about our, our brand and our story and um, and all that good stuff. Another conversation with a great female founder. Danielle is a great example of why we need more women in business. Remember to grab yourself a pack of Cormax for your next hangout. Thank you, Danielle, for taking the time to have this conversation with me. And thank you for listening to this week's episode. Let me know your thoughts about this episode and what your business is all about. To learn more about Danielle Goss and Carl Marx, visit www.carlmarx.com. Thank you for listening to Female Founders Podcast. That's it for this week's episode. Be sure to follow us on your favorite podcast app or connect with us on warmail.com so that you don't miss our next episode. See you next time. Bye for now.